guys, how's it going? So, how do you like my purple tanks? Yeah, very iffy, isn't it? So, um, today I will uh, talk about uh, fish flukes. There's gill flukes and there's skin flukes. And these little bastards are um, a fish parasite that is equal basically to fleas on dog. It's very hard to not get it <laughs> and it's very hard to get rid of it so most people just manage it and when they have like a crazy outbreak um, that's when they actually treat it so um, I have no idea when how or where it came from I'm pretty sure I always had it with my frontosis at some point but now one thing led another and all my tanks got it so <laughs> I decided to treat everything in the fish room everything everything but that little beta in the small tank on the left uh, so today I'm gonna show you how to treat uh, your tanks with several different treatments that really work one that I will not cover is formalin just because in my personal experience formalin tends to be very very strong uh, even stronger than the treatment I'm using right now so I will cover the treatments that I use for uh, flukes and other external parasites because these three treatments I will talk about do work for all of the above so uh, let's begin what did I treat uh, my tanks with well half of them I uh, treated with one thing and what you're looking at right now is potassium permanganate I will show you show you show you right here potassium hold on permanganate there you go I still can't pronounce it properly but it's an extremely powerful uh, granular powder product that is used mainly uh, when you have a lot of gallons to treat like in ponds and stuff like that and uh, it's very very potent like you can see one teaspoon treats a thousand gallons uh, now this product um, it depends on the parasite you're using but it's minimum of three weeks you have to use minimum I would flukes right now I think I'm gonna go up to like three months of like interval um, treatments not like every week but just preventive just to kill off any hatchlings of uh, the flukes so how to use uh, this potassium product you have to be very very careful because it's an extremely strong product so always use like a measuring cup uh, to know what you're uh, dissolving so here we have my measuring cup use um, this pipette 10 ml so you know exactly and precisely how much you're using and let's go to my notepad sorry so using potassium permanganate okay it depends how many gallons you're treating if it's a pond go with like the one tablespoon here i was using one uh, quarter teaspoon by the way it's all teaspoons i messed up um so one quarter teaspoon would treat 250 gallons and i put it in a cup of 250 ml of water so basically one gallon equals to one ml of this treatment that we just uh, used so this is my 135, so 135 mLs, okay? Uh, you stir it up pretty well, there you go, and uh, I already used it. So this is the excess because it was for 250, so there's still some left in here. And uh, now what you do is, uh, don't forget to remove your carbon, duh. Um, you wait, Listen, it varies, it varies who you're asking. I would say as much as your fish can tolerate within four hours four hours being the maximum for the treatment and uh, make sure it's well aerated like what I did here is I raised my um, outtakes so it aerates uh, a lot more than it normally does and um, you keep a watch on your fish you don't apply the treatment and leave the house you stay and you watch your fish because you have to make sure they're not breathing heavy they're not extremely uncomfortable the moment you see signs of like heavy distress like see this fish was already like going like Ugh. heavy heavy distress this is nothing like really like breathing heavy then you have to uh, use uh, some um, peroxide 3% peroxide um, you also calculated by I had a sheet here hold on hold on very very little peroxide like this 130 
five gallon. I used uh, how much did I use of peroxide? Um, on the 135, 40, um, 25 mLs. Okay. So for like let's say a hundred gallon, you would use 15 um, mLs. So a very 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 little. Uh, of uh, hydrogen peroxide 3% and it will neutralize it right away um, the product in the beginning is uh, bright purple but within four hours you'll start noticing it's gonna go brown that's when it's not so much effective anymore so you have to neutralize it and then that's it that's it you don't even need a water change it's just gonna be neutralized by the hydrogen peroxide so that's your first treatment um, normally uh, no more than three times a week uh i'd say about um do it like one week three treatments one week off then the next week we do it just to catch all the new um hatching your flukes because they have a life cycle of like a week within a week they hatch they breed and they lay and the new ones will hatch next week so you have to really like keep at it and they can stay dormant for months so if that gives you an idea you'll be in it for the long run same uh, will apply for any medication you're going to use another medication you can use which is readily available in most pet stores is Prazipro okay Prazipro is very potent especially for aquarium use uh, you don't need much of it it's one capful per 20 gallons and um, it says it works seven days, but honestly, it actually only works three days. So after three days, you have to do a water change, redo it. Um, I'm going to put um, something in the comments exactly how to use it, uh, because it's going to take forever for me to explain day by day and month by month how to do it. But I'm just going to like write it down in the comments below exactly um, how long to use it for and which week to use it on. And everything that's for Prazi Pro, same will apply. Uh, sorry, same will apply to uh, Prazi Quantel and anything Prazi related. Uh, Prazi Quantel is more uh, potent medication, but exactly the same one as this one. So you'll use it the same way as I will write in the comments below. And another treatment is Acriflavine, which I don't have here, but also you will have to use it like pretty much every week for like. At least three weeks better a month but you'll probably have to redo doses like for a good three months just preventively and then preventively as often as you think you need because these little buggers are hard but I say hard to eradicate and um, I should have said that like in the beginning of the video how do you know if you have flukes well I'll write everything in the comments below but I'll say right away the um, they start showing uh, signs as if they had ick like they start scratching but also they start uh, having breeding problems they can have one lung collapse then maybe the other gill collapses um, but really when they start breeding heavy that's when you know like you have a heavy infestation because it's bad when their gills start getting like really affected and they have trouble breeding they will create a lot of uh, excess slime coat so they have like a grayish substance on them they'll have clamp fins they'll stop eating yeah it's not fun you could lose a lot of fish and even before these symptoms sensitive fish will probably die so the best way to know you have flukes is actually just to do a skin scrape under the microscope if you don't have it a microscope try with someone that has one or maybe a fish store has one most reputable fish stores would have a microscope i would hope so <laughs> and um yeah good luck with it it's it's a pain in the ass um by the way the higher the temperature uh the more they will reproduce so the way i diagnose my fish with flukes is that most of these ectoparasites when you raise the temperature they don't breed as much it kind of heightens their life cycle and as ache at 30 degrees it dies off so the same for Shilodonella dies off at 30 degrees but no flukes they breathe faster at 30 degrees and something to alleviate um, the pain and the symptoms of your fish a little bit is to add uh, some sea salt one cup per hundred gallon uh, should be enough but it will really help them with their like bruises and sores because of how much the infestation is 
So yeah, I hope this can help you out with uh, any of the, the fluke problems you could encounter. Sometimes you won't even know you have them and you'll think something's wrong with your water. But hey, this is life. You, uh, you live, you learn, and this is just a hobby of fish that you have to always stay on top of. All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to read uh, in the description below for more information. Thanks, bye-bye.